name is Emma Weinberg and I've incorporated hippotherapy as a treatment strategy due to the fact that I have ridden horses my whole life and I have seen the benefit that horses have on children with disabilities and special needs. If a child has a, a diagnosis that makes them need occupational therapy or physical therapy or speech therapy, then hippotherapy is a treatment option because it's using those therapies but just on the horse. So it's not teaching the child how to ride, it's using occupational therapy, physiotherapy or speech and language therapy to achieve therapeutic goals on the horse. While we are doing therapy with the child on the horse, the child just thinks that they're having fun and enjoys the relationship that they have with the horse and the games that we play. Very often in the therapy room we struggle to get children to focus for long enough to achieve their goals, but when they're on the horse, the move of the horse gives them the sensory input that they need so that they're able to focus on a task for longer periods of time and our therapeutic outcomes are achieved much faster. The core of hippotherapy is that the movement of the horse facilitates changes in the client in sensory integration, neurodevelopment, perceptual skills, gait and mobility and communication. So proprioception is um, the sense of where our body is in space and it's the feedback we get from our muscles and our joints as to where our body is. So the movement of the horse gives a lot of proprioception into the body which helps the child to know where their legs are, where their arms are, where their hands are and that in turn carries over into motor coordination be it fine motor or gross motor so it helps the child with walking, running, handwriting. For every stride that the horse takes, the child has to shift their balance eight times and in one therapy session the horse is taking anything from 2,000 to 3,000 steps. So the movement of the horse um, causes the human pelvis to move in the same way as it needs to move when the person is walking, so it imitates the gait of the person. So for a child that has the physical potential to walk but hasn't yet walked, it helps to train the muscles around the pelvis as well as the vestibular system in the inner ear to enable the child to balance and to be able to walk. The movement of the horse helps the child to normalize muscle tone. So for children that have diagnoses such as cerebral palsy and they have increased muscle tone, or children that have got decreased muscle tone, it influences their muscle tone so that they're able to sit up straight and also relaxes the spasticity in the muscles of children with cerebral palsy so they're able to move more freely. So because most children with developmental issues and physical difficulties, they are normally sheltered from danger. So riding provides some risk. The horse and the equine environment is very motivational in several aspects in gaining control and developing relationships. There's something about the movement of the horse that stimulates the neurological pathways in the base of the brain which stimulates speech so very often we have children that start with us who are nonverbal and within three to four months of hippotherapy they start speaking. He's a lot more sturdy on his feet, he's not as clumsy um, at when before hippotherapy, we'd get a call at least twice a week that he'd fallen at school or hit his head or um, something had happened and those have been less frequent. So since Dante has been doing hippotherapy, he's way more calmer um, and I love the fact that it's an outdoor activity where kids can also learn to interact with animals and learn a lot of empathy regardless of the fact you're still busy with an OT activity. Um, he has improved so much in, in the busyness and in um, how he does interact with other people, how he does at school and um, just overall after an OT session it's just so nice to have a happy boy when I take him home. Hippotherapy um, gives you double the result that you would get in a normal OT session. So your child is actually getting the benefit of growing faster while doing the OT. Each session is something little, sometimes something big that's changing and we're very excited every week. I would like to thank Emma and Helen for the compassion and for changing our lives one step at a time. The biggest improvement since starting hippotherapy is that he talks. He talks really well. He's now speaking in paragraphs so it's been amazing. Every day he asks if today is the day that he's going to ride Razzle. I was a bit, a bit skeptical and unsure about starting hippotherapy because I didn't really know what it entailed and I couldn't understand how something like hippotherapy could be helpful. But it is so worth trying it because the results speak for themselves. His posture has improved immensely um, and his core strength and then obviously um, his gross motor functioning on his left side. I think the one that stands out the most is a little boy that when I first met him he didn't walk, he didn't speak, 
and it was like tears every time he got into the horse. And he's like a completely different child now. He's speaking in full sentences, he walks on his own wherever he goes and it's just awesome. <laughs> his posture, his core strength is so incredibly strong now from sitting upright on the horse. He can balance as the horse moves, he, his vestibular system changes with him. He's really come a long way.